Hi guys. So what this is going to be is just a 20 minute solid power flow. After that we'll come down to the ground with those warm muscles. We'll do about five minutes of really great stretch, maybe six or seven. Have a nice closing and I'll have you out of here under a half an hour. Okay, so if you want, have a strap near you. We use that when we go to the ground later. And if you want, you can use blocks. Blocks would be good when we are in a lunge, for example, so that you don't have to lose your form to touch the ground. So if at any point using your blocks would allow you to have nice posture with an open heart, open lungs and chest, and a longer spine, use your blocks. I won't specifically say at any point to use your blocks, but randomly I will use them and you can choose what you want to do. All right, so without further ado, let's begin standing. All right, let's begin. So inhale your arms up, press down into your feet. Exhale, right arm low, press into your left heel, left arm high, nice tug of war. Inhale, touch your fingertips and gaze down. Exhale, reach behind you. Hug your shoulder blades together and hug. Hold a giant beach ball behind your booty with your palms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, now your right arm high, pressing into your right heel, left arm low. We're not arcing, we're just reaching down and up. Inhale, got downward gaze, touch fingertips. Exhale, hold that giant beach ball behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades together like you're closing the pantry doors. And now let's face the front of our mat if we're not. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Using your blocks or not, we'll step the right leg back. You want to sink your hips and raise your heart. Right knee down. Let's climb up that left thigh. You can place your hands onto your hips. And the pelvis just sinks like an escalator a little bit further forward and down. Inhale, hands down. Right knee up. Exhale into your first down dog. Let the head dangle, spread the fingers out like a giant starfish, a nice paddle to the legs. Let's glide forward, hands closer to the midline, knee plank, and reach the throat forward, hug the elbows in as we lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, level chin cobra, squeeze your tush. Exhale, pick up your hips, and back to our down dog. Let's inhale, raise our right leg up. Exhale, coil the navel up, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg up, fingers spread, look at your left knee. Exhale, knee to nose, hollow out the belly. Inhale up, look at the left knee. Exhale, let's step this one all the way through. Deliberately coming to forward fold, bending the knees and just shaking out your shoulders. Turn your toes to face true north and inhale, half full. Exhale, drop your tush back, chair. Make sure you can still see your toes, your knees shouldn't unsafely overshadow them. Press into your heels, stand up. And exhale, forward fold. Step your left leg back using your blocks or not. Place your left knee down. Climb up that right leg, breathe in. Keeping your hands supportively on your thigh or pushing the hips into a little bit of a deeper sink. Inhale, hands down, knee up. Exhale, down dog. Pretend you have a unicorn horn and you're just scraping around on the mat with it, releasing the tension of the cervical spine. Let's glide forward, hands closer to the midline, knees or toes all the way to the ground. Inhale, hands back by your ribs, level chin cobra. Exhale, pick up the belly. Down dog, fingers spread. <sighs> Left leg glides up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to your nose, coil that belly. Inhale, spread the fingers, look at the knee. Exhale, coil your belly. Inhale, up. And let's coil the belly up and step this left foot through. Pour yourself deliberately into your forward fold. Bend your knees, let your head dangle. You can roll those shoulders out again, maybe open the toes. Turn the toes to face true north. Inhale, half fold, your body's like a bookend. Exhale, we bend the knees, chair. Press down to stand up. And 
and forward fold. Stepping your right leg back. Breathe in right here. And breathe out, down dog. Glide forward, hands closer to the midline. Knees or toes half or all the way. Pull your heart forward and through to cobra or up dog. And then look to your belly. Roll back to down dog. Move your unicorn horn around on the mat. Spread the fingers out, a little light pedal to the legs. Let's raise the right leg up and breathe in. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, look at your left knee. Exhale, look at the space between your thumbs, right knee, left elbow. Back up, breathe in. And step through. Let's turn to our left this time and come into our straddle fold, getting your feet parallel to the short sides of the mat, and then just moving side to side. Open up your toes, really connect with your footing. And then from this position, left knuckles on the ground, your right arm is going to touch its armpit and open those chest plates to the right. Inhale, right hand down, toes open. Exhale, touch your left armpit. Inhale, come back down, rotate back forward to your right foot. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, knee towards its own elbow. Back up, spread your fingers, look at your right knee. Toward the right elbow, look at the space under your face between the thumbs. Back up, look at your right knee. And let's step this one through. And move into your straddle fold, side to side. Let's rotate back around to our left foot directly this time and breathe in. And exhale, down dog. We're going to stay in down dog to stretch tight legs, if that's priority for us today. Or flow through your vinyasa, inhaling hands closer so your hands are under your armpits. Hug those elbows in, half or all the way. Pull the heart forward and through, level chin. And then roll from the belly. Back to down dog. Flow all your air out. Move your unicorn horn around. This time, let's look towards the front of the mat and hop and then walk the rest of the way or walk all the way. Inhale, bend the knees, half fold. And then exhale, bend the knees again into your chair. Press down to stand up. And then exhale, your hands to center. We're going to step that left leg back into warrior two. So in warrior two, you want your right toes facing directly toward the front of the mat. And you want your left toes facing toward the left side of the mat. Inhale into your reverse warrior. And exhale into your side angle. Press into your right heel. It's up to you how bent the right leg stays. Exhale, we'll re-bend it. If you want it a little harder, just barely touch the forearm to the thigh. Back up, breathing in. And then cartwheeling down. Down dog, or a three limb down dog. If you didn't raise your leg into the three limb down dog, go ahead and pick it up now. Open your hips to the right, and drop your heel towards the tush. Your dog found a fire hydrant. Now push backwards from your hands toward that left heel. Let's straighten the right leg back out again. Put it down or not. Forward into your plank. Through your chaturanga. Foot must come down before cobra or up dog. And then into your down dog. Blow all your air out. Left leg glides up this time. And we'll step it all the way through. Right foot coming with the left. And forward fold. Press down to find your half fold. And then drop your tush back into your chair. Inhale, we're coming up. And exhale, hands together. Let's step our right leg back this time. Looking out over your left hand and your left knee, make sure your knee doesn't buckle inward. You really want to draw it toward the pinky toe side 
and tone the outside of the glutes, those external hip flexors. Now inhale, up, and exhale, side flexion. Press into the left heel, we're coming up. It's up to you how deep that knee bend stays. Exhale, side angle. Last time up. And as we come down again, if you want it a little harder, just let that left forearm float. Shoulders should be relaxed and your left toes open. Let's come back up and then rotate back down. Coming into a three limb dog or a four limb. If you came to a four limb, go ahead and raise that left leg now. Raise it a little higher and sink it back towards the tush. Press from the butt of your hands towards your right heel and just let your head dangle. Let's straighten that leg out, put it down or not, and glide forward to a knee plank, a toe plank, or a three limb plank. Into your chaturanga, and then to your cobra or up dog. And sit back for one child's. Let's inhale, come on up to hands and knees and move through a cow. Move your hands back at all if you think you could make yourself a higher St. Louis arch. And then let's press back up to our down dog again. Let's raise that right leg up and breathe in. And then step it all the way through. We're going to put our left heel down for warrior one this time. And then sweep all the way up. When you get to the top, exhale, bend that front knee a little deeper and draw your shoulder blades back. Press into the right heel, straight leg, and that throws off your balance. So open your toes and find your footing. And then exhale into that deep bend. Push into the right heel, straighten the legs, open the toes. And then bend and draw the shoulder blades back and down. Now we're going to pour ourselves forward onto our fingertips and right leg. We're going to relax the shoulders and lengthen that left leg a lot longer. And then put that left foot down, breathe in, half full, and breathe out, down dog. Pedaling the legs out, saying yes with your head, moving your fingers around a little bit. Stay here, pedal through your feet and stretch tight legs. Take a rest in child's pose to reclaim your breath, or an optional vinyasa forward down and cobra or up dog with a level chin and then rolling the spine back let's raise the left leg up this time fingers open and coil the belly up to get the foot through place your right heel on the ground for warrior one and then push yourself on up so you want to actively press down and forward with your front leg and down and back with your back leg and your hips squared forward in warrior one. Arms up, straighten that leg, find your footing, and then bend back into it, open chest. Press into the left heel, straight left leg. Level chin sink. Hopefully feeling that nice stretch on the hip flexor. Back up, and down. Let's pour to our two hands and left foot, and push our right leg back in a three-point pose. I don't care if your base leg, in this case your left leg, is bent or straight, but elongate that leg behind you. Place the right foot with the left, bend the knees, drape the spine, shake out the shoulders, relax the toes. Inhale, hands on your hips, long back, and exhale into your chair. Your chair can have your hands at center, supportively on the thighs, or longer arms. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Press into the feet, and forward fold. Let's step our right leg back, and come into a nice straddle fold. Side to side might feel nice to start. 
Relax your shoulders, your neck, and your toes. And then in this straddle fold, let's just walk our spine to the right. Notice the legs didn't change much at all. And just getting a nice little twist. Let's come back to center, open toes, breathe in. And let's exhale, just investigating over to the left, just checking things out. Coming back to center, and then arcing around again. Breathe in when you arrive, and breathe out to down dog. Our final flow before we go to the floor, as we inhale forward, hands closer, knees or toes, hug the elbows in as you descend. Pulling forward, and then lifting the hips, Let's sit back here. You can bend your elbows quite a bit, or maybe even interlace your hands behind the skull. That'll put a little extra weight into the forehead, and any extra forehead pressure will help release some extra calming chemicals in your brain chemistry. Let's breathe in for five. And breathe out without any restriction. Let's see what kind of a number we can achieve as we continue to press more gaseous waste products out of our body. All right, so hopefully that flow got your blood going a little bit, and it also got your muscles warmer and more malleable, like a piece of taffy that's been in your pocket and warm and it's stretchy. So let's grab our strap. If you don't have a strap, that's fine. You can use uh, anything that won't stretch or rip, such as a tie, uh, a leash, um, a kid's old karate belt. I'm sure it'll get resourceful. So we're going to inhale with our arms up. And as we exhale, a downward gaze, and we're going to take that strap back. And this should feel like a nice stretch across your biceps, your shoulders, and chest. If you had trouble getting the strap back without pain, you're holding too close. If you don't feel any tension or any pur uh, purpose in what we're doing, you're holding too far apart. Inhale up. And exhale, a downward gaze, and the strap goes back as far as feels good for you. One more time. Up, push down into your sits bones to strengthen and heighten your spine. And then you look down and you take the strap back a little bit. And this should feel good for you. Relax your jaw and your toes and your tongue. And then let's come onto our backs. We're going to take that strap with us. So when you lay on your back, you're going to hook the strap around the ball of the right foot. All I ask is that your arms are straight, mostly straight. It's a lot harder if you keep your arms here and tighten up to pull the strap to you. Just make them straight. You can decide if your base leg should remain bent or if you require some more stretch, you can straighten it. If you still require a little bit more sensation in your stretch, you can guide that foot gently towards you. You want to relax through your shoulders, through your toes, breathing steady in through your nose, steady out through your nose as well. Try to see how long you can let that breath, breath last. Now we're going to hold the straps together with your right hand. Hold low with your left hand as the second point of contact. And just decide how far out your leg wants to go to stretch that inner thigh. If you're very flexible out there and you need a little bit more, say your leg gets all the way to the side and you can't pull it up anymore, then you can take your left hand and put it behind your head. That gives you a little extra stretch if you need it. Breathe in. And breathe out forever. I'll wait. See what you can soften muscularly as you release. Now bend your right knee. Bring it back up. Hold it high with the left hand and low with the right hand. Keep that leg straight. And keep your back pocket, your wallet on the ground. We're only going about two or three inches to the left. Don't go so far your booty comes up. Keep your tush square on the ground and just let that leg, that lever, lean to the left. Hopefully feeling the stretch all along that outer hip, the IT band, the vastus lateralis, all the good stuff. 
And then let's bend our right knee, hold each strap. Put the left foot up, right foot on the ground. Your arms are mostly straight, doesn't increase the stretch, just makes it correct. And then you can keep your right knee straight or bent any degree. Breathe in, relax your shoulders and your toes and your tongue. And if you need a little extra stretch, you can breathe out and guide that leg in a bit. You want to remember that you don't want to bend your knee to bring the foot in closer. That negates the point. We're trying to keep the leg straight and not restrict the breathing or cause ourselves any pain. You can imagine calming down your breath, like calming down the white caps on the body of water that you are. You are made of mostly of water. And when you can calm down the white caps of any body of water, or you can slow the speed down, that body of water picks up less sediment, and we've just got a little bit more clarity. Now let's take the left arm high on both straps and the right arm low, and just allow the leg to go out to the left, only as far as feels good. But remember, if you feel quite flexible and you need a little extra, your right hand can go behind your head. And that gives you just a little bit more anchor for a great stretch. You wouldn't want to go that far, only if it felt good. Breathe in. And breathe out forever, just envisioning yourself calming down the white caps or slowing the body of water down. Make sure the rest of your body is soft. And then we're going to bend the knee, bring it up, that's the safest way, and then re-straighten it. Hold with your right arm high, your left hand low. Keep your back pocket on the ground, straighten the leg, and then just go about two or three inches to the right. And then as you're laying here, breathe in and envision your neck like a stick of butter out of the fridge. And as you exhale, imagine that stick of butter sitting outside on a 90 degree day and just melting and feel how the jaw to the shoulder softens. Let's come back to the middle. Release the strap. Give the knees a hug, side to side rock. The side to side rock massages your lower back. And then we're going to open those knees up a little and hold on to the shins or the knee creases or even the feet. And just move around in a happy baby. Happy baby isn't real specific. It's just uh, like you're a baby who discovered you have feet. What would you do with them? Just breathing in. You might find a spot that you like. Straight legs or bent legs, or you might find that moving around is what feels more soothing and therapeutic to you today. We're going to put our feet on the ground here. We're going to just complement all the strength of the front with a little extra strength in the back. Make sure your toes are facing forward, not out to the front corners of the mat, but forward. You can squeeze your tush as high as you like, but you want to be able to wiggle your shoulders. And you don't want your knees to pop open. You're going to try to get those knees squeezed in a little bit so they're hip width. Right here, you should be soft in your shoulders, your toes, and your throat. And this inversion allows us to get some of that oxygenated blood down to the glandular system of the neck and brain and into that brain tissue. It also tones the back lines of the body that often are overstretched due to our setting lifestyle when we sit a lot. Breathe in. You can come up onto your tiptoes unless your calves are sore. And then breathe out. Put that spine down one pearl at a time like a string of pearls under your mom's dresser. All the way down. We're going to do one more stretch here. A little butterfly stretch. You can let your arms relax behind you or to the sides. And then if you feel inner thigh tightness, your best butterfly will be feet close to you and therefore knees wide. However, if this doesn't feel like any stretch is occurring, you don't need it. You need the outer thighs. So if that's you, slide your feet forward a little bit and maybe that would feel more productive. We're going to take two great breaths, breathing in. And 
and breathing out forever. Starting your own second breath when you're ready. And on your inhale, notice where you still might be a little tight. And on your exhale, choose not to be. And remember, you can always pause this on any of the stretches or go back and do them again for a longer duration. With this point, we're going to close those knees up and just do a little lift and shift to roll us onto our right side. Take a nice deep breath here. Let that more lunar left side drape over the fiery right side we certainly cultivated in that practice. And then let's press ourselves up with our hand, not our head. Leave that neck alone. Sit comfortable. Press down to be higher. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, right fingertips on the ground, reaching, feeling that nice stretch from belt loop to pinky ring. Back up, push down to be higher, level chin. Exhale, left fingertips or palm, and just a nice stretch. Only go so far that feels good, please. Last time, we're coming up together, breathe in, and just for today, exhale down. All my choices will be focused on maintaining inner peace. Just for today. Thank you for joining me. Hope you guys had fun. Drink lots of water. Have a great day. Bye.